everyone, I'm Jane Grohl of the DevOps Institute and we're here on the last day of Jenkins World uh, talking to Sunil Mavadia of Zebia Labs. Uh, very, very excited to spend some time and really get some of the impressions of how the conference has gone so far. So, welcome Sunil. Thank you for having me. So, it's been a really dynamic conference. What's the one takeaway that you've kind of picked up in terms of themes in this conference? I think what you're seeing is a lot of, uh, the buzzword is DevOps intelligence, right? And a lot of companies are jumping on that bandwagon. Uh, we've been doing it for a while through our products, uh, Excel release and Excel deploy, but DevOps intelligence is the big, is the big momentum now. And you're seeing that with a lot of companies coming out with it. Do you think it's kind of the evolution of big data? I mean, a few years ago, we were talking a lot about big data, big data, and now it yeah. seems like intelligence. Yeah, so, so big data, analytics, intelligence, metrics, they all kind of fall in the same bucket. It's really about how you slice and dice the data that's coming out of all these tools, right, uh, today, that really enable your DevOps uh, transformation and your DevOps engagement at the business le level. Um, you know, it's not all about the technical stuff. Mo most of the time, we look at only the technical aspect of it, but you need to abstract it and be, a, you know, aware of how the business is looking at those me at those metrics as well. So it's really helping decision making. I mean, strategic decision making. If you think about it, we, you know, we I use the term data driven decision making, and that's exactly what it is. How can you use that data? to make some really business-oriented decisions as opposed to just technical decisions, right? So what are you seeing in terms of the maturity of the DevOps market, the uptake from the enterprise space, things like that? As far as maturity goes from a product perspective or from a tool perspective? Just from a maturity of the enterprise. I mean, is it, do you think it's, the enterprise is maturing? It is maturing. I mean, you've seen over the last few years, um, people went from an agile transformation to a DevOps transformation, and now you're hearing the buzzword digital transformation a lot, right? And what is digital transformation? That really is the business transformation, really encompassing Agile and DevOps together to, to enable the enterprise to be more effective in the market. Yeah, and I love that because I think that in IT, we have a lot of loyalists, right? Absolutely. Loyalists to Agile, loyalists to DevOps, loyalist automation, yep. right? Are you yep. starting to see more of that convergence? We are, we are. And it's becoming a blurred line, right? Just like how the tools are becoming a blurred line, everybody's talking about DevOps. You start seeing that whole transformation becoming a blurred line. It's probably going to be called something different in a few years. But that is the big thing that's happening right now. Yeah, I hope yeah. in a few years it's just called IT, right? <laughs> back to where we used yeah, to be, back right? To way that a little we used retro. To be, yeah. I like that. Yeah, they'll call it vintage. I right? know. <laughs> vintage transformation, yeah, right? Vintage there transformation, you know. right? It's you know what? We'll always go back to the foundation, right? At the end of the day, it can be buzzword bingo, but it is really about how effective you are um, with your products, with your message to the enterprise. What can you do to be more effective by gathering the data, the metrics that you need to make, you know, good decisions that really, uh, you know, benefit your enterprise at the end of the day. I love that because if you think about kind of the origins of IT, we are information exactly. technology, right? Exactly. And People so lost CBO, that, right? Exactly. Right? And I think you guys are doing a really good job of bringing that back. We have, yeah. I mean, there's a reason we got named number one this year by Forrester. And the reason is we have a strong message. And the message is that we are the leader in DevOps intelligence, right? And when it comes to that, it's the, the products carrying that name and, and our message to all the companies that we support today is that make the right decision, you know, by using the tools that you need to, to bring your product, your company to market a lot faster with the data with the decisions you make, you know? And by the way, congratulations. I Thank mean, you. that's a tremendous Thank honor. You. It, is, it is well a great deserved. honor, you know, to be in that space. And obviously a lot of people work really hard to get there. Yeah. So what do you see the future? I mean, where do you think a year from now we'll be back here at, at next year's Jenkins yeah. World? What's your predictions? My prediction again is that a lot of these markets, these, these vendors, 
uh, are going to have more of an intelligence look as opposed to a technology solution look, right? And, and the reason being because we're not, we're more enterprise centric now and not at the developer layer. So everybody wants to be a technologist, but if you start uh, surfacing that up to the 30,000, 50,000 foot layer, it really becomes about intelligence. Yeah, and I think intelligence is part of value creation. I mean, I think one of the terms that's really bubbled up in, in DevOps is the creation of value, not necessarily exactly. the delivery of software, right? Exactly, and exactly. How much value can you bring to the enterprise? Right, exactly. and part of it, like we just said, is about collecting analytics, data, and then using it. I love the word intelligence, right? Yes. I mean, we use it in a lot of different contexts, but it, it helps us make intelligent decisions, right? Right, exactly. Uh, you know, when you're an executive, you're thought process is not at the technology layer and you need the intelligence to be able to make those decisions right and so at that point it's what kind of data can you gather and surface at that you know at the different layers of of management and executive management that lets them make those decisions right and so our our message is let's connect the tools and provide the layers and metrics and the intelligence to be able to make those decisions, uh, you know, much faster, much cleaner, you know. And I love the fact you say connect the tools because I yeah. mean one of the things that's really fantastic about the DevOps space is that because of the interoperability between most of the tools, particularly yeah. Jenkins plugins yeah. and and all of that, the tool providers are working together as well. You have to, right? There is no single tool that does everything for you. It's you can't have. People go, you know, it's like a toolbox metaphor. You have tools in the toolbox. Each one does a specific thing, right? We know where we sit in the market, um, but there are tools that do specific things really well, right? So you have to be able to talk together, play together in the same space. Yeah, so just to wrap up, so the, during the next 12 months, until we're back here again at Jenkins World next yeah. year, if you had to give one piece of advice to organizations out there that are just trying to get started, figure out how to how to kind of um, start bringing in the cultural aspects, the automation aspects, what would be your advice to them? My advice is be cognizant of what your problem really is, right? Good and advice. if you're not really identifying your problem, you're solving it by throwing things at your problem uh, that might not technically solve, solve the issue, uh, but it's just masking the problem, right? So be cognizant of what you're trying to solve, right? Get the right tools in place. Uh, the tooling is, is a small portion of it. Your, your people and business processes need to also come together and start talking the same language across the enterprise. Good. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much, Jane. It was really nice to be here. So I'm Jane Grohl, CEO of the DevOps Institute. We're here at Jenkins World. And thank you, Sunil, for your insight. And congratulations Welcome, on and thank you. Uh, really the awesome recognition by Forrester. Yep. Um, and we hope to see you here next year uh, at Jenkins World in San Francisco.